Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, we have a high voltage experiment, which is this little device that is a radioactive alpha particle detector. The detector emits a spark when an alpha particle goes through this region. It is formed by a high voltage power supply, a cathode connected to the negative terminal, and these wires above, which are the anode connected to the positive terminal. The base is 3D printed, and the cathode is from the can of a large capacitor. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. After cutting to size, we use inserted here at the base, which is printed with this group. This wire is for the connection of the negative high voltage and I have added copper tape here in order to solder the wires for the positive high voltage. I will use this little high voltage power supply. It can give around 15,000 volts, but for this experiment with around 8,000 volts is enough. Here we can see the full system. The high voltage power supply is connected. The negative goes here to the cathode and the positive terminal goes to the small wires that are above. This is very fine wire, size 42 AWG. I have seven wires separated at five millimeters from each other and they are three millimeters above the cathode. For the alpha particles I have this little radioactive source. It is americium 241 and I got it from a smoke alarm. There is some type of smoke alarm, the ionization type, that use this small radioactive source. The radiation emitted by this source is not dangerous. It can be stopped by a piece of paper, so it cannot penetrate the human skin. It can cause damage if you eat it, but this is not my type of dinner. The alpha particle is formed by two protons and two neutrons and is identical to the nucleus of helium-4. They are produced in nuclear reactions and in the radioactive decay of some elements, as in the case of our americium source. The americium-241 is a radioactive isotope of americium with a half-life of 432 years. As part of its radioactive decay, it emits alpha particles, which are the ones that we use in our experiment. I have connected my variable power supply to the high voltage power supply, and we select a voltage that will give around 8,000 volts from the high voltage power supply. This is a very high voltage, but not enough 
to make a spark jump from the wires to the cathode. However, when we bring the radioactive source close, let's see. As we mentioned, alpha particles have a very small penetration depth. Let's check it. So, as you can see, they are not able to penetrate a thin piece of paper. Let's see how this device works. It is actually very simple. We have a very high voltage between the cathode, the base, and the small wires. But it is not enough to break the dielectric capacity of air. So the spark does not jump. But now, the alpha particles emitted by our source ionize the air when they pass and ionized air is more conductive than normal air. So, when an alpha particle passes near one of the wires, the air is ionized and becomes more conductive and the spark can jump between the wire and the cathode. Okay, that's all for today. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page. Hope you liked the video and see you in the next one.